someday. And it was noise that he was in the house. I'm glad, praise God, tonight that he's in the house. Amen. I've said many times it does not matter if I'm here or not. It does not matter, praise God, really, if you're here or not. Amen. But it matters tonight if Jesus shows up. Amen. 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 God, you who be here. God, you why you're here. Amen. Some of you here tonight just because of divine providence. Amen. God just rearranged your life to be here tonight. Amen. Amen. When I before I got saved, Amen. God rearranged my life. And God done things in my life that I could be a will not bad this church. You may not believe that tonight, but that's the God's honest truth. There's a lot of places I could be tonight. Amen. I could be in the hell holes of this world. I could be like the brother we listened that Friday night. I could be riding with hell's angels. Amen. I could be doing all kinds of ungodly things. But thank God by divine providence. Amen. God saw fit before I ever got saved to rearrange my life. Amen. To give me an opportunity. Amen. To come and sit under some good gospel preaching. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. For preaching the word of God. Amen. Thank you, men, for preaching the word of God. Amen. Thank you, singers, for singing Amen. under the anointing and under the power of God. Amen. Amen. Son, God, the sinner, to get under Holy Ghost conviction. Amen. 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 Get saved with the marvelous Amen. grace of God. Amen. Amen. Before I come to the wheel, I didn't know nothing about Holy Ghost conviction. Amen. Amen. I've been in church. Amen. I didn't know what it was for a man to get up here and spit, swallow, and sweat. Amen. Amen. I didn't know what it was. Amen. For a man to get up here and roll his sleeves up. I mean, got done preaching. His call was soaking wet. I had never seen nothing like that before. Yeah. Amen. I wanted to know why it was going high. Yeah. Amen. I wanted to know why it was doing that. Praise God. Yeah. Amen. I didn't understand that. Amen. The power of God get a hold of it. Just can't get you blessed sometimes. Amen. Praise God. But I like it. Amen. When he's in the house. Amen. It matters tonight if he's in the house. Hey, I welcomed him before I got here tonight. Amen. I welcomed him into the building. Amen. I brought him with me. He's on the inside. Dwelling with my soul. Amen. I like it when he shows up. Amen. That's the only hope that we have tonight for our children. That's the only hope we have tonight for America. That's the only hope we have tonight for our churches and for our county. It's for God to show up in our midst and the power of God to get surreal. And that you can cut it with a knife. That the lost person can't send the congregation the righteous. And they not be convicted. Amen. And they become converted. Amen. We need my friend Jesus to show up. Amen. Listen, but sometimes uh, there's things that happen in our life. Uh, amen. There's obstacles that get in our way. Uh, amen. To where we can't serve God like we want to. Amen. 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 God will help me tonight. I want to preach on that subject. Obst obstacles in your way. The Bible says in straightway, many were gathered together, insomuch that there was no room to receive them. No, not so much as about the door. And he preached the word unto them. Amen. I look at that. And I think a lot of times when I first started preaching, Amen. We'd go to places and it'd be dead as a hammer. Amen. It'd be so cold, Brother Shane. You know what I'm talking about. It'd be so cold. Praise God. You'd rather just left at 10 o'clock. Amen. Come back to Wilmot, shout the victory. Amen. There's been places. Amen. We just had to endure. Amen, honey. We just had to endure. Amen. It's been rough. Praise God. Amen and been rough on this preacher to get up and stand. Amen. Feel like the devil's got a hold of your throat. Amen. The more you try to preach, the harder he squeezes. Amen. I've been there. Amen. Done that. Praise God. Amen. But listen, when I read this scripture, amen, the Bible says, and Jesus preached the word to them. Amen. He didn't look around and see who was there. Amen. I don't believe he worried about they shouting or not. He didn't worry about they saying amen or not. He didn't worry about if anybody else was worshiping or not. Amen. He didn't worry about if looking at him cross side. Amen. I had one this morning got to go like this. Amen. He didn't know so much about that. Amen. Listen. Amen. Jesus didn't worry about that. Amen. No doubt they're standing on the outside at times. Amen. Ready to take him by force. Amen. But he's still reared back and preached the word of God to him. Amen. He didn't preach man's opinion. He didn't preach out of intellect. I don't believe. Amen. But I believe he preached on the power of God because he was God. Manifested in the flesh. And he preached the word to them. Amen. When this preacher failed. The word won't fail. Hey, the new service. Hey, the new one just right. Hey, the, the, the word will never fail. Hey, the singing ain't just what it ought to be. The word will never fail. Hey, God said that it would not go out. Boy, but that it would accomplish. Hey, the squeeze is him. Hey, when you can bet your bottom dollar. When a lost person gets into the anointing. And it gets in the place where a man's preaching on the anointing of the power of God. And the word of God pricks their heart. Hey, when they may not move. Hey, when they may not even show any kind of emotion. I look for you can bet your bottom dollar that they'll carry that out the door. They'll carry it with them Monday morning. They'll carry it with them through the week. And that God will begin to do a work in their life. And in the Word of God, I might read a little more than you and I ever thought about doing. I like what the brother said Friday night. And when he said we can't turn the water into wine. And then we can give them the water. And we can fill the water pots. But we can't 
can't do the miracle for you. Hey, all I can do is preach to you and give you what God's Word says. I can't make you get saved if I could. Hey, when I go to every door through this community and I start saying on Brother Keith, I can't do that. Hey, man, but I can pray that the Holy Ghost conviction come, that the power of God get real, and it is saved by the grace of God. And I believe, according to the authority of God's Word, that God will honor this believer. I believe, asking you shall receive. I believe that God honors the prayer of His saints. I still believe the effectual prayer of a righteous man. Oh, well, of much. And sometimes we have to be long suffering and continuing in our prayers. Sometimes it's years down the road. Amen. But I still believe, church, that God is able to do exceedingly above all. And we ask for faith. I believe God can do more than what we ask Him to do. And I believe that He's willing to do that. He said there He preached the word unto them. I learned not too long ago that when I go somewhere to preach, or even here with them all the time, I quit worrying about their saying amen. Quit worrying about their shouting. Quit worrying about their raising their hand. And just run back and preach. Amen. That's all I can do. And then I ain't got about the brother said I ain't got but one gear. Hey, when God gets a hold of me, I just have to preach the way I preach. Hey, but that's all that I can do is give you the word of God. I'm like Paul. I determined not to know anything among you. Save Jesus Christ and him crucified. I don't have eloquent speech. I don't have great swelling words of man's wisdom. Oh, but my friend, hey, man, I've got the word of God. I've got a sword. That's sharper than any two-edged sword. That'll cut down the dividing of some of the soul. And if there's any saving none, it'll be because the word of God pricked the heart. The Holy Ghost of God's moved and wooed your soul. Hey, man, you responded to that call. And when he said there, and they came unto him, bringing one sick of the palsy, which was born of four. And then we see this man that was sick of the palsy. And when I see that man in the theater of my mind, I see a perfect picture of a sinner. Hey, man, a man that's sick with a palsy. Hey, man, he cannot move under his own force. He may be able to move a little, but his movement is limited. Hey, man, he's sick. Hey, man, when I was a lost and ungodly sinner, hey, man, I could not do nothing. I thought I was something, but I could not do nothing in reality. Hey, man, one that was sick and in need of something. He said that he was born afore, and when they could not come nigh unto him for the press, they uncovered the roof where he was, and when they broke it up, they let down the bed wherein the sick of the palsy lay. I find there that those four, they had this sinner. This man is a picture of a sinner. Hey, when they saw the need for that man. Now listen, you get right with God, and you'll see the need, friend. You get right with God, and when you get saved with the grace of God, and you get in the will of God, and you'll see the need through this community. You'll figure out why we're buying buses. You'll figure out why we're building the church. You'll figure out, Brother Jimmy, why we're out here sweating and laboring on Saturdays to build a building. You'll figure out why we're handing out Bibles, handing out gospel tracts, and then handing out all we can hand out. Hey, man, you'll figure it out. I praise God, you'll get a burden, and you'll get a need. Hey, man, you'll, get, you'll see the need throughout this community. Hey, there's times that I go to Walmart, and I say, God, help those people. Hey, man, you can tell me, look at them. Hey, man, there's something lacking in their life, and God will burn my heart for somebody I don't even know. Hey, man, listen, you get right with God, and God will begin to give you a burden. Hey, man, listen, church, if you've lost your burden as an individual, hey, man, you're dying out. Hey, man, your Christian walk will die out. Hey, man, because we've got a burden tonight, we're growing in the Lord. Hey, man, because we've got a burden tonight, and a desire to see people saved, I believe that's one of the reasons that God's been blessing this place so richly. Hey, man, because we stepped out on faith, hey, man, to see people get saved in the grace of God. Hey, man, listen, you may say, I don't want the Mexicans around there. I don't want those people. Hey, man, bring them to me, praise God. I want them. Hey, man, give them to me, praise God. While you're grumbling and growling, I'll preach to them. Hey, man, while you're fussing and moaning and groaning, hey, I'll just go back and preach to them. Hey, man, maybe one of them gets saved and shout the victory. Hey, man, listen. Hey, man, there's not one that Jesus wants to see perish. Hey, man, so why should I? Hey, man, listen. If he went out in the highways and hedges, hey, man, if he went to send the house of sinners to compel them to come to the house of God, why shouldn't we? Oh, friend, I believe that's our duty. Hey, man, I believe, my friend, that God called us. Hey man, to go to the ends of the earth. Hey man, we gotta start a wheel month before we go anywhere else. Hey man, we gotta get Nations Creek. We gotta get all these little hollers. Hey man, these little backwards places. Hey man, listen.
listen, they need to be saved by the grace of God. There wasn't nobody who wanted nothing to do with them lepers. Amen. When Jesus passed by one of them, amen, they were called out. And they said, Lord, if thou wilt. Amen. Jesus was just waiting to hear that. Lord, if thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. Jesus said, I will make me clean. Oh, my friend. One Sunday morning, I said, Lord, if thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. Jesus said, I will make you clean. Amen. He was waiting all the time on you just to say, Lord, I will. Amen. And he will, friend, save you by his marvelous grace. He said there that they could not come nigh unto him for the prince. I find a lot of times in my Christian walk that there are obstacles in my way. There are things that try to beset us along the way. Amen. Listen. Amen. These four men, they saw the burden and they saw the need and they was carrying that man and they was taking him, trying to get him to Jesus. Amen. The number one people got in their way. Amen. There was a whole crowd all about Jesus. Amen. In that crowd, there was people there that just come to be coming. There was people there that come because the money was coming. Amen. There's probably some of you here tonight. You're just here because your husband came. You're just here because your wife came. You're just here. Amen. There's somebody else. Hey, I started out that way. Amen. Then something got a hold of me. Amen. Listen. Amen. Amen. Not to get saved. Amen. I came for a lady. Amen. Might as well be honest. Praise God. Amen. But something got a hold of me. And changed my life. And I started a new life in me. Amen. I'm a new creature. In Christ Jesus, and you come here to learn that shape. You just come for somebody else, oh friend. But Jesus has extended His arm of mercy unto you, oh friend. Oh, listen, just take hold of that. Amen. Come to Him and call out unto Him. Go out in that crowd. Amen. We'll read on down a little bit later that the Pharisees and the scribes were there. Amen. They were cold hearted. Amen. They were there murmuring and grumbling. Hey, there's some people that just come to the house of God. Amen. Amen. Just to see what's going to happen so they can murmur yeah. and grumble yeah. and growl about it. Amen. Listen, let's get right with God. Yeah. Amen. Get right with Him. Yeah. Amen. You'll quit that nonsense. Yes. Amen. 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 You'll quit the murmuring and growling. And you'll come to see Jesus. Yeah. And you'll come to worship Him yeah. in that crowd. Yeah. I know that there was some that came seriously. Amen. To hear what the Word of God said. And to hear what Jesus Himself had to say. But there was a great multitude of people. Uh, they have passed about the house. Uh, yeah. And those four, uh, they could not get this one that was sick in there. Uh, there was an obstacle of people in their way. Uh, uh, friend, listen. Uh, amen. There's people that won't get saved. Uh, they won't come to church. Uh, hey, because they say that preacher down there beat me. Uh, amen. That preacher down there, uh, he don't live the life. Uh, hey, that preacher, he ain't, he's just as good. He ain't no better than I am. Uh, hey, amen. I can uh, uh, do right here, right there at the house. I uh, uh, praise be unto God. Be just as good as he is. Uh, hey, amen. They won't get saved. Uh, hey, amen. Because of people. I hate tonight amen, for a person to get in my way of getting to Jesus. Amen. I hate to be looking at somebody else. Amen. And say, because of you, I'm not going to worship God. Because of you, I'm not going to get saved. Because of you, I'm not going to come and give God my best. Amen. Because of you, amen, I'm going to back off. Amen. Not live like I want to live. Amen. I hate to let somebody, amen, one person, amen, determine my eternity and determine my outcome. I feel when you stand before God, that person ain't going to stand with you. And you're not going to be able to look at him and say, where's Brother Keith at? He's the reason I didn't get saved. They're not going to be there. They're not going to be around you. Friend, you'll stand there by yourself, naked in the eyes of God. And my friend, you'll give an account for yourself. And I didn't come for anybody tonight. And I come, praise God, to worship the Lord and to give Him glory. I think about old Mary over there in John chapter 2. 12. She wasn't worried about Martha. She wasn't worried about Lazarus. She was just worried about getting at the feet of yeah. Jesus. When you come to the house of God, amen, quit worrying about the workers and the witness. Amen. Just get down to business and worship God. Amen. Amen. There'll be time later. Amen. The word. There'll be time later for the other. Amen. Just worship Him. Hey, we need to quit looking around us and just look up toward heaven and praise the Lamb of God. Hey, we see there that there was also in their way. Amen. There was unbelief. 
Amen. No doubt. Uh, those men there that day, uh, uh, they probably, uh, oh, amen, on the way yeah. to that house, uh, the devil tried his best to plant down in their oh, mind. Yeah, uh, yeah. He yeah. said, there ain't no use in going. Uh, hey, there's too many people there. Uh, you'll never get him in. Uh, you'll oh. never get him to Jesus. Uh, he'll never be healed. Uh, the devil will try his best uh, to plant oh, down in your mind. Uh, but friend, he's only got as much power uh, as you let him have. Uh, oh, he's yeah. only got as much access uh, as you let him have. Uh, you friend, uh, let us say, the grace of God and Christ Jesus Whoa. lives within you. You have the power to say, Satan, get thee behind me. Yeah. And I've got news for you, that old rascal. He has to flee. Yes, sir. He has right. to take right. his flight. And he has to get out of the way. Yeah. Because greater is he that's in you than yeah. he that's in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And God's still on the throne. Yeah. God's still in control. Yeah. Right. And then God's still able, friend, yeah. and to bind the powers of that old rascal. God's still able to cast doubt yeah. out of your life. And then it's about time that we just believe God. Yeah. And God's still right. enough miracles the way we want it. Well, that's just to believe Him. Uh, amen. We've got to set all over the house. Uh, we got a miracle. Uh, amen. In every corner of the house tonight. Uh, and it's about time we just believe God. Uh, I believe God's going to build a church. Uh, I believe God's going to build a church. Uh, I believe God's going to build a church. Uh, I believe there's going to be people get saved. Uh, I believe there's going to be mamas and daddies. Uh, get saved with the grace of God. Uh, I believe there's going to be young people uh, get glorious and born again. Uh, amen. You say, why do you believe that pressure? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I just got enough sense to believe him. Uh, amen. There's just something within me. Uh, amen. That says he's going to do it. Uh, and I just got enough sense tonight uh, to believe him. Uh, as soon as I walk out those doors, uh, Amen. That old doubt's going to try to hit me all between the eyes. Uh, amen. But praise God, I'm glad uh, that I know where to rub that old nose in. Uh, amen. I'm glad to rub it in the blood. Uh, amen. That old rascal has to flee. Uh, amen. That old fellow over there in the Bible. Uh, amen. His uh, son. Uh, amen. Had, he was sick. Uh, he was demon possessed. Uh, and he cast himself in the fire. Uh, he was deaf and dumb. Uh, amen. He said, the Lord said that if you believe, uh, he said, Lord, I believe. Uh, help thou mine unbelief. Uh, amen. We need some Baptists. Uh, amen. To say, Lord, uh, help thou mine unbelief. Uh, amen. Every time we try to do something, uh, you don't believe God. Uh, amen. It ain't about me. It ain't about Charlie. It ain't about anybody else. Uh, it's about believing God uh, and trusting God. Uh, amen. Every now and then, God just wants you to step out on faith. Uh, amen. That little will. Woman, huh? and we sing the song about how huh? she had to step out on nothing, yeah. huh? amen, to, to, to do what God huh? would have her to do. Huh? Right. She stepped out on pure faith, huh? yeah. amen. Every time she went to the meal bear, huh? praise God, her cup come up full. Huh? Every time she poured out the truth, huh? oh, poured out. Huh? I firmly believe huh? that she could open that barrel huh? and not see a thing in the bottom of it, huh? but by faith, huh? she'd reach that cup down in there, huh? amen. After she got down to the bottom, huh? she said, I'm just trusting you. Lord, uh, you said you'd take care of me. Uh, and when that cup began to come up, uh, amen, and she began to feel that way of that meal hit it. Uh, yeah. Lord, hallelujah. She yeah. take that cruise. Uh, amen. I firmly yeah. believe. Uh, you may think yeah. I'm crazy. Uh, amen. But I believe this. Uh, I believe she'd take that cruise uh, and she'd pick it up uh, and it'd feel like it was empty. Uh, but by faith, uh, she'd say, God, I know you're going to take care of it. Uh, yeah. And she began to pour it out anyway. Uh, amen. That oil began to run out. Uh, amen. You think they shouted in the Old Testament? I, yeah. I bet that little widow woman shouted all around the house. Yeah. I, I bet she tore the place down. Yeah. I, I bet her and Elijah had a holy dance yeah. together. Yeah. Amen. I bet they got glory together. Yeah. I, amen. I bet they uh, praised the under God, shouted all around that town. Yeah. Uh, and was a witness yeah. to that community. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Amen. Listen, we'll step out on faith. Uh, yeah. Amen. God will bless. Uh, and God will yes, honor. Uh, and we'll be a witness yeah. to this community. Yeah. Amen. I believe those men there, uh, it says there they uncovered the roof uh, when they came to that place. Uh, amen. They had to climb up on the roof. They couldn't get through for the people. And they say in that day that there could have been a set of steps going up to the roof. I don't know that tonight or not. Amen. They say it's possible. Amen. I don't know the circumstances of that place. Amen. My friend. Amen. They had to lay aside their pride. Amen. No doubt it wasn't popular for them to be carrying that sick man to where Jesus was and to carry him up on top of the roof. Amen. That wasn't popular, friend. If you're going to be a Christian, and you're going to 
sell out to God uh, and present your body a living sacrifice. Uh, amen. We're going to have to quit worrying about pride. Uh, we're going to have to lay that down. Uh, amen. And just say, God, uh, I'm trusting in you. Uh, amen. Listen, pride uh, has probably seen as many people to hell as anything. Uh, and pride has kept people from walking the aisle uh, and getting saved by the grace amen. of God. Uh, pride almost kept me uh, from coming to the amen. Getting saved by the grace of God. Uh, pride will keep you sitting on the pew. Uh, amen. Because you're afraid of what everybody else will think. Uh, Amen. You're too proud. Amen. To say I need help. Amen. Listen, don't ever be too proud. Amen. To say I need help. Because every one of us in here, and we need help every now and then. Every one of us in here was lost and undone without God. Every one of us in here at one time or another. Amen. Was a wretched, vile, ungodly, a sinner. Amen. Jesus had to save us by his marvelous grace. Amen. Lady ain't always shouting. Amen. John ain't always preach. Amen. There was days before that. Uh, amen. God had to save them. Uh, amen. Right. Set their feet on a solid rock. Uh, and friend, don't ever be too proud. Uh, amen. To come down with old fashioned order uh, and call out unto God. Uh, this is the most beautiful piece of furniture in this church. Uh, amen. This is the most beautiful part of this church to me. Uh, amen. The outside's beautiful. Uh, amen. Everything about it's beautiful. Uh, amen. When I think about the tear stains uh, that are embedded in this carpet. Uh, amen. I've seen puddles right here in these seats. Uh, I've seen it pond up. Uh, Amen. Where ladies have got a hold of God. Yeah, yeah. Going out on behalf of their family. If this mercy seat right here could tell stories, yeah. they would shout all night. If this mercy seat could tell you about all those that got saved, kneeling down right. right there, I would shout, my friend, all night. Amen. Listen, I'm not worried about tearing down the back of the church. I'm not worried about tearing down the walls. But when it comes down to this altar, oh, friend, that's going to be a sad day. Amen. Because there's many memories that have taken place yeah, yeah. in this altar. Yeah. Amen. Hey, them walls, praise God, they're good. Hey, Amen. There ain't nothing happened to them walls. Hey, Amen. But in this altar, hey, business has been done with God. Amen. Yeah, yeah. hey, listen, right. there's been mamas that have laid down their pride. Hey, yeah. Amen. No doubt people hey, in the church right. have talked about them for coming and praying. Hey, let them talk. Get a hold of God. Yeah, and call out unto God on their behalf. Yeah. I'm going to ask you, but my two babies is worth it. Yeah, hey, my right. children are worth it. Yeah. Hey, if everybody in here is talking about me. Yeah. Hey, Amen. I knew there's more. Yeah. Undone dying and going to hell. Hey, Amen. You can bet your bottom dollar this preacher would bury his face under that mercy seat. Yeah. To call out unto God yeah. on their behalf. Hey, friend, it's time. Hey, Amen. Yeah. Mom and Daddy, you let, let down your pride. Hey, Amen. You got a hold of God on somebody else's behalf. Hey, Amen. Yeah. Those men, Bless they came the up Lord. there on the roof yeah. and they made their way up on top. Yeah. And they still had to uncover it. There was another obstacle in their way. My friend, they had all kinds of obstacles. Hey, Amen. That were coming their way. Hey, Amen. There were circumstances huh, that got in their way. Has circumstance ever got in your way? Things that you could not control. Things that you could not help. Hey, Amen. It'll hinder you. Hey, Amen. It'll keep you from serving God if you made it. It'll keep you from worshiping. Hey, Amen. You can't control what other people do around you. Hey, Amen. You can't control what they do. Hey, Amen. How they live their life. Hey, Amen. Those that are close to you, it will hurt you. Hey, Amen. It will hinder you. Hey, Amen. Listen, circumstance will hurt hurts you. Hey man, my little babies, when I first started preaching, I've told this before, but when I first started preaching, it seemed like every Sunday morning that I had to go somewhere and preach. Every Sunday morning, hey man, there's the worst youngins you'd ever seen. Hey man, you'd think Satan himself would raise them, praise God. Hey man, you'd think, praise God. Hey man, there's like that little boy you see on that movie with horns coming out. Hey man, there's evil, praise God. It's hard to preach. Hey man, the baby's crying. Hey man, mama, she's puffed up. Man. Amen. Because they're mad. Hey, man, it just runs off. Praise God. Before you know it, you're climbing up behind that pulpit. God help me. God help me. Amen. Amen. Listen, circumstance will come your way. And circumstance will hinder you. And circumstance will try its best to keep you from serving God. Amen. Honey, I got something to tell you tonight. I think about that scripture over there in Timothy. Amen. It says, Perilous times shall come. I used to read that and I'd get depressed. I get down and out. God, why is there any use? Why is there any use in witnessing? Why is there any use? You said it was going to wax worse and worse. You said all these things was going to come about. And why should I even do this? And then I get on down there in that scripture. And he says, but continue. I don't know about you, but I underline that in my Bible. And when I circle it, praise God. And then we go down and out and I get down and out. Circumstance comes my way. You know what we have to do? Just continue. Just keep putting one foot in front of the other. Amen. Doing the best you can do to 
serve right. God. Right. Hey, right. just keep on praying. Keep Amen. on seeking God's place. Yeah. Hey, ain't no time to give up now. Yeah. I've come too far in this thing to turn back. Yeah. Hey, man, the children of Israel, the tribe of Ephraim, they turned back on God. Yeah. Hey, man, they saw the battle ahead of them. They had everything in their hand to fight the battle. They had the God of heaven on their side. But still yet, they turned back. My friend, I've come too far. Yeah. I've been too blessed. I've got too right. much at stake to right. turn back in this thing now.